Okay, students, so part of the assignment that I asked for you to do with this GDP data was to create a couple of graphs. And one is a graph using real GDP per capita data. So if we select this data after having calculated it and insert a graph that's a scatter plot like this, interestingly, you can have just a scatter plot or you could have a scatter plot with lines on it. I kind of like just the scatter plot. Then you would go in and change the titles. So, you know, you could say this is, um, re you could say real GDP per capita, right? And then you could change the axis over here and you could change the labels. You could say, okay, um, you format the axis, but you want to, you want to actually have the, the years be on here. So actually when we select the data, we need to have um, the, we need to take an add series name, be state. And then we want the X values to be the years. And then we want the Y values to be the state numbers here like this. Okay, and that's saved. Okay. And then um, we can delete these other two. Um, remove them. Um, and remove this one. We can add um, country one and x values are going to be the same as they were for the other and the y values are going to be these values here All right and then we should be okay okay let's look at it let's go to graph okay here's our graph very nice okay and the state label here is associated with whatever is in this cell now I could um, I could add I could add a, a label to this axis, and you do that in the design button, and add a chart element, and then you could add a title for the axis. So the primary vertical axis is um, U.S. or is a uh, 2019 U.S. dollars, right? So that's that's what this is all measured in. And then you, you can add uh, an axis title for the horizontal variable, and this is just year, right? Okay, good. Now this graph is beautiful. It shows um, what's happening with this state in this country in terms of changes in real GDP per capita. But notice the, the country is really, really low and the state is really high. And, and so in order to sort of zoom in, on these, one thing that we can do is, is we can make another chart. And so we'll copy this, Control C. And I'm gonna just create, I'm gonna paste the whole graph, but I'm gonna do something funny with this, this axis here. I'm going to take this axis and I'm gonna format, well, let me see, I'm gonna format, if I can get out of the chart, I'm gonna format this axis. So here it is, I'm on the format axis label here. And there's a trick, you can hit this logarithmic scale. And we like to use the natural log in economics. So we're gonna use 2.7 here and hit enter. Okay, notice what happens. The distances between these various tick marks has changed. And one last thing that I can do to make this graph a little bit easier to read is I can look at like what the bottom number is close to. So that's close to a thousand, and I can change the minimum here to be a thousand. And look what I see here now. Okay, so whereas this graph, the real GDP per capita is gradually going up like this, and this one is also sort of slipping up like this, using the, the natural log makes each figure look a little bit more like a line. What's happening here is that we're measuring the percentage change between each tick mark 
is the percentage change of each variable over time. Okay, so so it goes up gradually like this. Now this this graph is something that I do want you to create, and you can watch this video a couple of times to see how to do it, um, and it'll be helpful, especially when we talk about this project afterwards. Okay, thank you, and that should be enough.